A common problem that we all have with uh, shoe polish is after it's been in the tin uh, for a while it gets really really hard and many times it'll have cracks. This one is like a hockey puck and there's a big gap around the edge. So what we do here is, uh, and we do sell shoes, we sell mostly watches but I still sell shoes, is to soften that. It's just real simple. You want to take the top off the cans, off the tins, and put the temperature of the stove on kind of a low temperature and then just have a little bit of water in the skillet and uh, and you never want to walk away from this uh, when you're doing this. This is something you don't want to walk away from. You don't want these things to get super hot because bad things happen. Anyway, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to stop the video now and pick up the video here in just a couple minutes. Notice how this has been uh, liquefied and this one also has been become liquefied. What we're going to do is turn off the heat, carefully put them on a cold burner, then after they have cooled down they're going to be a whole lot softer. And uh, yeah that's just been liquefied which is what we're looking for. And uh, once it gets uh, dried off, um, uh, then it will become nice and soft. Not only will it be soft, it will be really cool because it will have a nice flat finish too. Okay, I hope this video has been helpful. Anyway, what, what we did is we allowed these two tins of shoe polish. This one's a neutral and this one's a dark brown. Anyway, we allowed them uh, first of all, as you notice in the video, we warmed them up and then after warming them up they became liquid and now after five, six, seven minutes they, they are firm. This one looks shiny but it's actually a firm surface on there. Same thing with this one over here. It's uh, It looks shiny but it's just real nice and soft and it probably still needs maybe about one more minute. But you can see how it it's just so nice. There's no cracks in it. There's no gaps in it. And it's real soft. And it's almost like a brand new... That's how the cans would be. The tins would be if you bought them at Walmart or wherever you buy your shoe polish. It uh, recovers that softness. And it just uh, works out great. Well, I hope that this video has been helpful to you. Thank you for watching.